Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Dani Sessa. So today I have a little bit of an eye tutorial for you guys. I actually wanted to separate the eyes from the skin look for this whole entire makeup look into two separate videos just because I didn't want to make it super, super long. And you might have already seen the skin look actually in the previous video, I believe that was going up first. Um, I'm actually inspired for this eye tutorial from the Milk Makeup campaign for the new Hydra Grip Primer. Obviously that video was all about that. Um, but I just love the colors that it has. As you can see the bottle is like, the product itself is green and then there's like blues and purples in this packaging. I don't know if you can kind of see the shift there. I don't know, it's absolutely beautiful and I just, those, those are my kind of colors. So I really wanted to put that on my eyes today and just kind of have fun with makeup. And of course, we're going to be using none other than the Morphe X James Charles palette. I am so excited to finally be using this on camera. I've been using this on and off, um, like for my day-to-day -day makeup looks, and I have been loving it. I've kind of played with some of the neutral shades, these like kind of rosy tones, and I've put it with the color a little bit too, just, you know, off camera for fun. Um, and I'm really excited to be using this today. Obviously, we're gonna be sticking to kind of these shades right here in the bottom rows. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited, super pumped to pump this out and show you guys a little bit of a different look. But before we get started, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and be sure to ring the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming my eyes using the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. It's this kind of really beige shade. A little bit of a pink undertone with it, which really helps cancel out any darkness that I have going on. And obviously, I haven't used concealer yet because I'm going to go in with my face products later. All right, so now that our eyes are primed, I'm actually not going to set it. I'm just going to let it dry a little bit. But for the first shade, I think I'm going to be going in with Playground all over the lid. And to pack that on, I'm going to be using my Morphe M433. So now I'm going to take a Luxie 229 brush, it's just a tapered brush like this and kind of dense and I'm going to take the shade B which is this bright yellow on the palette. I'm going to take that bright yellow and pop it in the crease. So now I'm going to take my Morphe M562 which is a tiny tiny tapered brush and I'm going to take a little bit of this lime green shade which is called Social Blade. And this one I'm going to sandwich right between where I put the yellow and the blue. Then I'm going to go back in with Playground on that same M4 through 3 and blend those edges out a little bit. Back in with B and my Luxie brush. I'm basically just going to be bouncing back and forth between those three shades and the three brush brushes I use to apply it. Each of those shades. Okay, so this is kind of where we're at with the eyes. I feel like it's looking really pretty. I was able to achieve a really nice blend from the blue to the green to the yellow. Um, so I'm kind of just gonna keep building on that. I'm gonna grab my Morphe M506 and I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Brother, which is this beautiful cobalt blue right here. And I'm going to pop that pretty much just on the outer corner to kind of intensify that. Also trying to make sure to really get it in the lash line. I'm gonna also mix in a little bit of that green, lime green that I've been using, Social Blade. Kind of not lose that tone. And I'm gonna go back in with the M433 and the shade Playground and just kind of smush that together. And I'm gonna go back in with just a little bit of Social Blade and that little tiny brush. And then back in with the shade B. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop right here for the eyes for now. 
And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back onto the other video, do my skin, and then we'll hop back on here to finish up the eyes. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now I have my base products on, all my makeup is done except I have to finish up the eyes and obviously go into brows, I'll do that a little bit later. Uh, but I just really wanted to jump back into the eyes and wrap these up. So, to start with the lower lash line, I'm going to take a little bit of playground and then I'm going to be going back and forth just to blend it out with Social Blade and B. So yeah, jumping into playground first. God, I love how intense all of these colors are. Everything is very, very true to a pan, which I can really appreciate. But that same brush, which by the way, this is the Morphe E36, is just a tiny, tiny pencil brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of Social Blade and actually B2, just kind of mix both of those shades together. go back in with my little Luxie taper brush and just reinforce the yellow on the outer portion here. I love how it's how the blues and the yellows and the greens are all mixing in together. I really love that these shades all mix together really really well. So now I'm going to jump into Brother which is that deeper cobalt blue and I'm just going to pop this on the outer well, actually no I'm going to drag it all the way. I feel like it's a little bit patchy right here, so I'm going to go back in with my M433, a little bit more of Brother, or sorry, Playground, and I'm just going to really lightly tap this on. I feel like it went from being inspired by that Milk campaign for the Hydra Grip Primer to like, I don't know, some sort of bird that you would find in the Amazon or something. No, like it looks like bird feathers to me. Do you guys get that vibe at all? Is it just me? I don't know, but I really like it. <laughs> I wish I had a yellow eyeliner. That'd be really cool. Maybe that's the next liner I'll buy from ColourPop. But because I don't, I'm debating if I want to go in with teaspoon or prance. So like either a baby blue or a green. And I cannot decide. Okay, so I think I decided to go with the green liner in the shade Teaspoon, and I'm just going to pop this in the lower lash line, and then maybe I'll mix in a little bit of the blue one. So I think I'm going to go in with the shade Hello, which is this icy light blue here. It looks a little bit darker in the, in the viewfinder, but it's actually pretty light and pretty icy, so I hope this will work. Actually, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna try wetting it too, just to see what happens. I'm just gonna grab any setting spray. This is the Morphe one. Yeah, I intensified it a little bit for sure. And now I'm gonna go in with a little brush and just the shade Flashback, and I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone a little bit living for this. So now I'm just going to pop on some mascara, some lashes. I think I'm just going to stick with my ColourPop because I've been loving it. Like I mentioned in my in my video about the, um, like my full face of ColourPop video, unfortunately the writing and all, like the whole design on the mascara has rubbed off. I only have like little bits here and there. You can barely see it. And that's just from the motion of, you know, opening it this way and having lotion on my hands and things like that, which really sucks because the packaging was really cute. Even the blue one, I don't use it as much, but it is rubbing off. I've used this one like two or three times. Going in with Timber from Buddyography. Alright guys, so that wraps up this video. This is the eyes complete. I really love how this turned out. Um, I know kind of where my inspiration first came from is the Hydra Grip Primer and this turned into something totally different. But either way, I'm loving how this turned out. It really is, this is pretty much what I had envisioned in my mind. 
and now on my eyeballs. So I'm really glad I was able to create this. Um, and yeah, just experimenting with color. It's been so much fun. So leave me your comments down below, letting me know if you like this look, what color combination I should do next. And if you're gonna be recreating this, I would love it so much if you tagged me. I would love to see, you know, how this inspired you and just kind of share the love and repost you as well. Um, so yeah guys, before you leave, if you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. That lets me know to do more content like this. And then of course, if you haven't joined the family already, please be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I post a new video and you won't miss out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!